Welcome to Today I Work On, and today I want to go over how I install tile on a floor. I'm not going to get into anything else besides how I tile a floor. And these are the first few important steps that you need. First thing, I have this rack attack. It's amazing. You could use it for any type of work when you're on your knees. You could roll around. I love it. Uh, I'll throw up a link on where you could buy it, but it saves your knees and your back big time if you're doing any kind of floor work, so I recommend it. Secondly, what kind of mortar do I use? I use a Schluter all set. Now, I'm not a fan of Schluter systems, but I do love their all set. It is their mortar, it's amazing. I just like the way it, it handles. Uh, all mortars are different. You'll know if you use a lot of mortar, but I do like the, the all set because it just, it just applies really well. Uh, I don't care what mortar you use, use any unmodified that is the large format tile. This video is for 12 by 24 tile, uh, and then maybe anything bigger. You do uh, 24 by 24 is up to 24 by 24. You could use this video. So my first step is I cut my first two or three rows in the bathroom. So I have a game plan, and I the the bathroom just starts to flow, in my opinion. So that is. I already cut that. Again, I'm not going over how I cut it. I'm just going over how I apply the towel. How I put the towel down, I I use these. Now, I can never say this. I don't know what's the right. It's pay, Paygron? I'm going to go. It's, it's a Paygron leveling system. You can get it on Amazon. I've used a lot of different types of leveling systems, and I just like these a lot because they always break off the, the levelers. Uh, that's actually a big deal because sometimes the levelers don't break and they get stuck and it's like super annoying. So as the leveling system I use, 1 16th uh, is the width I use for most floors. You think, oh my god, 1 16th is kind of like super tight, but in reality it's not. Like 1 32nd is like super tight once you get used to using 16th inch spacers. So that is the intro to tiling. So let me start getting into how I actually tile the floor. and. Well, uh, I'll visualize a few. Well, the first step is you want this clean. You want the substrate clean, sweep it, vacuum it, make sure it's flat, pick up, is there any of the mortar line around, you know, chisel it up. And the first thing you do is you wet, not soak it, but you just wet the cement board or it's the hardy backer. So you don't have a moisture issue. You don't want the worst thing with water is if it dries up too quickly, you don't get a stick. Secondly, now that's done. Back this up over here. I'm gonna put the first tile down and how I back butter. I see a lot of guys not back butter, but and look how the all set goes on. It, it goes on like it's like marshmallow. I, I love it. You want a back butter. Okay, now that we're back buttered, now we're gonna throw down actual mortar now. And you see the consistency? This consistency is like a perfect consistency. Look. It's, it's amazing. That's how you want your mortar to look. If it's looser than this, you're gonna have a problem. If it's too thick, if it's thicker than this, you'll have a problem moving the mortar around. Now, for 12 by 24 tile, half inch square notch trowel. Okay, now you see the board is still a little, not wet, but it's damp, which is perfect. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, up, I'm gonna move the uh, mortar around with the trowel. Don't be cheap on your mortar, because that's no good. You don't want to be cheap. So, that's plenty now. Also, I know it's it's like a weird, weird tip, but keep your lines the same way. Okay, that is ready for the first tile. I'm going to put the first tile down. Now I need levelers. Uh, you want to clean up your level 
I mean, you want to clean up your tile. You don't want to have a messy edge because then you have more work later on when the tile dries. So I clean the edges off. Take my sponge. Always clean your edges. You don't want to be messy because then you got to dig out mortar. Now this all sets pretty easy to dig out. But uh, you still don't, it's just a pain in the neck. Next up I'm going to install, so this is going to be a 50-50 offset pattern. So on the first row I usually put two levelers on this edge. And then I'm going to, well usually I like the one like this. But I'm going to wait. And then we throw one here. Because that's where the end of the tile is going to go. And then two more. And then just give it a little bit of, of a tap with your with your hand. You could use a rubber mallet too, but I think that's overkill for a tile. It's not like it's a piece of uh, it's going into like a piece of S-type mortar. So same thing, back butter. Back butter is probably the most important part of a good stick. I'm going to show you why. I'm going, to show you the difference. I'm going to show you the difference between back buttering and not back buttering and how well of an adhesion you get with the back butter. So, this does take a little bit longer to do when you back butter, but it's really, it's worth it. Look at that, beautiful. Alright, the next row I'll do one without back butter and I'll show you how it looks and then we'll back butter it. So I used to, I guess I call this a crimper and I crimped the levelers together. It's like a big shim, it's like a big plastic shim. Next up I put more mortar down. I don't like the levelers in a way because then I can't, my trowel hits them. So, as you can see, if you can see over here, this level is in the way, so I can't really get the trowel in and put the mortar down the way I want. So do not put levelers, eh, levelers in until you're done putting the mortar down. Now it's time to put the levelers in. So what I do is I take the trowel and I come across like so. I go against the tile and then I take a sponge and I just clean it up so we don't have any mortar stuck in where the grout space is going to go. The sixteenth of an inch is kind of tight, so to get a, I mean, they do have the grout cleaners in there. You know, sometimes you need to use them, but for the most part, I try to try to keep the tile, and it looks really professional. So now I'm going to put down my first tile. All right, so usually there's like a saying or something on the tile or like an arrow and you want to keep the tile the same way. Now this is a marble looking tile, so it's not as important. There's not a pattern. It's, I'll tell you, tiles come a long way today, but there's some tile that there's an arrow and you do want to stay with that direction. So this tile does not have it. So I'm not too worried about which way the tile is going to go down, but watch, I'm not going to back butter this tile. I'm going to show you what kind of coverage we have. If I put it down, right now I'm going to pick it up. You're going to see the difference. You see, it's decent coverage, but look. Where the half inch went, you have spaces of tile. That means the coverage wasn't as good as it should be. Now, I'm going to redo this tile and I'm going to back butter it. And you're going to see the difference. So let me back butter it. Let me put a little bit more to down. And if you get, if a lever doesn't want to go in really well, you just have to take your trowel and you just lift up the tile a little bit. So now we're going to put this tile down. And oops, well, you want to stay clean. And when I pick up the tile, this got dirty, so I'm going to hit it with the sponge. You 
want to see the difference? Let's check out how different this looks. Look at the difference. We got complete coverage now. And that's how you want it to look. And I didn't even bang it in now, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna set it. And that's what you want. That's what kind of coverage you want when you tile. Now tiling videos are kind of hard because it's kind of messy, but this is a uh, that's basically how you tile. Now I'm going to tile the rest of this floor and then I'll recap uh, the tile video. For this top floor this video again it's just to show you how I properly mortar a tile floor on the, the, this is 12 by 24 tile and I did a 50 50 offset now 50 50 offset you need to use tile levelers because it is impossible to get a level floor without the tile levelers keep that in mind so what I want to <clears throat> what I want you to get on this video is the most important thing is nice prep Make sure your cement board or your hardy backer is damp with a sponge. Make sure on a 12 by 24 tile, you back butter that tile so you get a good stick. Make sure you use a half inch by half inch square notch trowel, same direction, and just take your time with it. <clears throat> There's no rush because what's the worst thing that can happen? You have a bad, bad tile job and you have to bring it and the tile pop, and then you gotta redo the floor. That would be horrible. So, I'm sorry my throat is a little bit froggy, but also thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it. If you like all my home improvement videos, please subscribe. I truly appreciate all the love I've been getting recently, all the nice comments, all the thank you comments. I truly appreciate it, and I appreciate every single subscriber I get. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.